Hello guys, my name is Mugisha Emmanuel and welcome back to this YouTube channel Mugicraft where we create and beautify. So in today's video, we are going to be learning something different. We are going to be learning how to make a jewelry holder or a jewelry box guys. And please watch this video till the end and don't forget to like, comment and share this video to friends and families. And most importantly, don't forget to subscribe guys. So let's go. Here we are guys we have our materials with us here we have our black beads the ones to be we are going to be using to make our jewelry holder or our jewelry box yes then we shall also have our pearls you can see them beautiful right yes to spice up our design yes then we shall also have our string yeah our string 0 0.7 millimeters so if you can see here it's the size of the string we're going to be using then we also have our cutter we also have our cutter here yes we also have our cutter yeah then first step we're going to have part of our string you can see it part of our string yeah then we we get our materials closer so i have our beads so we're going to start with the black beads we're going to start with the black beads you can see them yeah so what you're going to start with, you're going to begin with four beads, four beads pattern. So what you're going to have, we're going to have our four beads here. We're going to have our four beads. You're going to, they're the ones we're going to be using. Yeah, and the beads are size eight, size eight of the beads. Yeah, we're going to have four beads, whereby we're going to first put three beads into the string. So you're going to have three beads into the string. Three beads into the string. Then we get our fourth bead, it's the one we're going to be tying with. It's the one you are going to be tying with like this. Yes, then you make sure it's on the same same level. Then you pull, then you tie. Make sure you tie. Make sure you tie like this. Yeah. Hope you can see now how it's becoming. So after doing that, what you're going to do now. You're going to now have three more beads. You're going to have three more beads now. You're going to have three more beads. Yes, you're going to have three more beads. You're going to have three more beads like this. Then you're going to have one bead put on the left side, on the left hand side of the string. And another one, you're going to put it on the right hand side of the string. So both sides of the string, you put a bead. You put a bead. So it's going to be like this. It's going to be like this. This, you can see. You, you put one bead on each side of the string. This side and the other side. You can see this side and this side. So both sides, you put a bead like this. Yes, then after doing that, you're going to have one more bead that you're going to use to tie in the middle here. So you're going to have one more bead. So you're going to have one more bead. You're going to have one more bead that you're going to use to tie. You're going to use it to tie. So you're going to get to the other side of the string. The side of the string, you're going to bring it and tie it into that one bead. Then you pull, then you pull like this. Yeah, so we're going to do this eight times. We are going to go up eight times like this. We're going to go up eight times, right? So we're going to continue with three beads, three beads. So so far we have we have we have two times. We have done we have gone two times. So we need six more times to make eight times. So you're going to have three more beads whereby you put one bead on the left hand side of the string put one bead on the left hand side of the string then you get another bead you put it on the on the right hand side of the string then you're going to get another bead it's the one you'll be tying with so you tie with the third bead you pull make sure you pull like this yes then you continue you're going to get other three more beads. You're going to get other three more beads whereby you 
put one bead on the left hand side of the string then another bead you put on the right hand side of the string then you're going to use you're going to get the third bead it's the one you'll be tying with tying with the third bead then you pull like this and you pull yeah so you're going to get few more beads you're going to continue the same process you get few more beads you put one bead on one side of the string Yes, then you're going to get another bead you put on the right hand side of the string like this then after that you get the third bead is the one you'll be tying with you turn with the third bead then you pull then you pull you pull like this so after pulling you're going to continue the same process remember we said you're going to to, to go up you're going to go eight times right so right now we have one two three four five five times already so remaining with three times to make eight now after making your eight steps going up after leveling eight times yeah what you're going to do now you're going to have two bits yeah this time instead of using three bits you're going to have two bits so you're going to have your two bits like this right so you're going to have your two bits so after getting your two bits you're going to have your left hand side of the string you can use your left or your right depends on what you want so they will both give you the same results so i'm going to have my left hand side of the string i'm going to first put one bead on my left hand side of the string then i'm going to have the second bead i'm going to be tying with it i'm going to be tying with it so i bring up the other side of the string the right hand side it across it to the same bead yes then i'm going to pull i'm going to make sure i pull all the sides of a string like this Hope you can see so this is how it to, to look like yes, this is how it will look like Hope you can see yeah so i just use two beads instead of three beads i use two beads so i put one bead into the left hand side of the string then i tie it with the second bead yeah, intercrossing both, both both strings into one bit like this right yeah so right now what you're going to do now we are going to go up we're going to increase on our level upward yeah that's what you're going to do so you can twist around like this and twist around so that you can have you can feel comfortable yeah so yeah now we are going upward so what you're going to do now we are going to consider few bits you're going to consider three beads at this point. You're going to consider three beads. So I'm going to have my right hand side of the string. This one facing outward. This this string. I'm going to have three beads. I'm going to have three beads. Whereby I'm going to put two beads into my right hand side of the string. So I put two beads into one string like this. After putting two beads into one string, I get the third bead. It's the one I'll be tying with. The one I'll be tying with, so I bring the other side of the string. Make sure I tie with it. I pull. I pull. I pull. I pull like this. You can see. So after pulling, I'm going to have this side of the string, the right hand side of the string, going into the next bead. Get into the next bead. So I'm going to have this part of the string. It's going to enter into the next bit like this, like this. Then you pull. Make sure you pull. Make sure you pull. Yeah. So after pulling, after pulling, I'm going to have two beads. I'm going to have two beads to complete to complete this. So I'm going to have two beads. Where I'm going to be using this upper string here, this upper string on my right hand side. So whereby I'm, I'm going to first put one bead into the string, then I get another bead. Another bead is the one I'll be I'll be tying with. So I bring the other side of the string. I'm going to tie with the other bead. So I'm going to pull. So I'm going to pull like this. So after pulling, this sub becomes. So I'm going to have this string get into the next bead again. I'm going to get this lower string, get into the next bead again. 
I'm going to get it get into the next bead again like this. Like this, then you pull. Then you pull. So after that, I'm going to get two more beads. I'm going to get two more beads. I'm going to put one bead into this upper string here. Hope you can see this upper string. I'm going to put one bead into it like this. I'm going to put one bead. Then after that, I'm going to have another bead. It's the one I'll be tying with. Another bead. It's the one I'll be tying with. So I'll bring the other side of the string. I intercross into one bead like this. Then I'm going to pull. Then I'm going to pull. I'm going to pull like this. Yes, so I'm going to continue the same process whereby I get this string, get into the next bead. Then I get two beads. So I get this string, get into the next bit like this, like that. And then I'm going to have two beads. Yes, I'm going to have again two beads. But I'm going to put one bead into this, into this, this string here. Then I'm going to have one bead that I'll be tying with. So I bring the other side of the string. I'm going to have one bead. So I'm going to tie with to make sure I pull. Make sure I pull like this. So after pulling, you can see. So then I get this string into the next bead, right? So I'm going to have this string into the next bead like this. I'm going to have it into the next bead like that. Yeah. So I'm going to continue the same process until I reach the extreme end of of this line i'm going to have to continue the same process until i reach the extreme end i put one bead into this upper string then i tie then i put it to the next bead just like that until we reach this extreme end now we have reached at the extreme end of our piece here so what you're going to do now you're going to have this string get into the next bead right yeah so you're going to have this string get into the next bead like this in your pole the next bead like that so what you're going to have now you're going to have two more beads two more beads whereby you're going to be using this left hand side of the string you're going to be using this left hand side of the string instead of the right hand side so you're going to have this left hand side of the string you put one bead in it to the string like this put one bead yeah then you're going to have the second bead it's the one you're going to be tying with so you bring the other side of the string, so you tie with one bead, right, like this, then you pull, so you're going to pull, you're going to pull like this, yeah, after pulling this is how it becomes, you have so far gone two steps, now the next step here, what you're going to do now, you're going to go upward, you're going to go upward like this, you're yeah, continuing this same line, you're going up, so, and we are going to go eight times so we already have two times from down so we're going to go up six times more right so this is how you're going to be doing it so once you reach here what you're going to do now you're going to have you're going to bring in three beads you're going to bring in three beads you're going to have three beads so you're going to put each bead on a on both sides of the string so you're going to put one bead on the left hand side the string like that then another bead you're going to put it in to the right hand side the right hand side of the string you're going to put one bead right it's like that you're going to put one bead so we have put each bead on both sides of the string on either side of the string you put a bead right on either side right so you can see one bead this side on the left and another bead on the right right so after that we're going to have one more bead one more bead it's the one you'll be using to tie with so we're going to tie with this one more bead like this then intercross into this one string like this then you pull then you pull make sure you pull right make sure you pull so after pulling this will become so the strings are facing upward right these the two strings are facing upward so you're not going this side you're going upward right so that's why we are putting 
beads on either side of the strings, right? So we're going to have three more beads. So we're going to continue the same process. We're going to have three more beads like this. So we put a bead on either side of the strings. On either side of the strings. So you put on the right on the left hand side, and then you put also on the right hand side of the string, you put a bead. So after that, then you get the third bead. It's the one you'll be tying with. So you tie with the third bead, you pull. You pull. You pull, right? You pull. Yeah, so you're going to continue the same process. We have three beads. You put one bead on the on the on the left. So you're going to have three beads. You put one bead on the left. Then you get another bead, you put it on the right on the right side. Uh, right hand side of the string so you're going to put one bead on the right hand side of the string then you're going to tie with with one bead with one bead like this you pull so you're going to pull you're going to pull like this right so so far we have gone one two three four five five times remaining three times so that you can we can finish our line here we're going to go three times more upward so after making these eight steps after you're done making these eight steps so what you're going to do now remember what we did down here the two beads we used down here and the same two beads you're going to be using here right so how are we going to do it after making those eight steps so we are going to have two beads right two beads yeah you don't have two beads so what you're going to do now you're going to have your your left hand side of the string your left hand side you're going to put one bead right you first put one bead into the string then you're going to get the second bead it's the one you'll be tying with right so you're going to get the second bead it's the one you'll be tying with the intercross like this then you pull then you try to pull like this. Make sure you pull. Right? So after pulling, this is what it gives. Right? So don't worry to straighten up when we go to the next levels upward. So after being straight, so what you're going to do now, you can twist it around like this. You can twist it around like that. So what you're going to do now, we are going to do the same we did here. So we are going to begin with four with three beads we're going to begin with three beads right when so we're going to go upward so we need three beads to start so what you're going to do now we're going to have three beads like this so you're going to use your right hand side of the string this side you're going to use your right hand side you put two beads into the string so you put all the two beads into one string right put one beads into one string then you're going to get the third bead it's the one you'll be tying with it's the one you'll be tying with you tie with the third bead you tie with the third bead then you pull tie with the third bead then you pull yeah, so after pulling after pulling then you're going to have this lower string this lower string enter into the next bead here. You're going to have this lower string enter into the next bead here. Like this. This to the next bead here. So after that, after that, now we are going to you're going to have two more beads. So you're going to have two more beads, right? So the first bead, you first put it into the, the right hand side of the string. First, put one bead into the right hand side of a string, then you get another bead you tie with, like this. You pull, you pull, like this, right? You pull. So then we get again this lower string, get into the next bead, to the next bead, like this, right? We're going to go into the next bead. Then you pull. So after pulling again, you get two beads. You don't have two more beads again.
So we are almost reaching the extreme end of our step. So what you're going to do now, you're going to have two beads. So you're going to use this upper string here. It's two beads, so you put one bead. Then you're going to tie with one bead. So bring the other side of the string. You're going to tie with it, you pull. You pull, like this. So after pulling, then what you're going to do now, you're going to have this lower string. You're going to have this lower string get into the next bead. So this same string is going to get into this next bead. So then after that you go, then the same string is going to come upward here. So what you're going to do, you're going to do this way. So you get this lower string here, my right hand side, this lower string. It's going to get into the next bead. It's going to get into the next bead like this. Like that. So after getting into the next bead, you pull. So after getting into the next bead, the same string is going to go upward here. This upper upper bead here. It's going to enter into this upper bead. This same string, right? It's going to enter into this upper bead. So you make sure before you put any bead, you tie with any bead, you make sure this string crosses over this, then it comes up here, right? So after that, I'm going to have one bead. I'm going to have one bead. So one you're going to be using to tie with. So I'm going to tie with this with this one bead. I'm going to tie with this one bead. And you pull. You pull like this, right? So make sure you pull. So after pulling, so what I'm going to do now, you're going to make sure this string on my left hand side, this string on my left hand side. I hope you can see it. This string here on my on my left hand side is going to get into this next bit here. It's going to get into this next bit here, right? So it's going, I'm going to have this string here get into the next bit like this, right? To the next bit like that, right? Yeah, I hope you can see now how, how it is. So right, what what I'm going to do now? I'm going to now continue the same process. I'm going to have this. This upper string here on my right hand side. On my right hand side, I'm going to have two beads. The ones I'm going to use to tie with. So I'm going to first put one bead into the string. Then I get another bead. The one I'm going to use to tie. So I'm going to intercross the strings into the same bead. Right? Then you pull. Then you pull like this. Right? So after pulling, you get this lower string, get into the next bead, get into the next bead, like this, then you pull, and you pull, and after pulling, then you're going to have again two more beads, you're going to have two more beads, you first put one bead into the string, then you get another bead, it's the one you use to tie, it's the one you'll be using to tie with, right? Then you pull, then you pull, pull, so after pulling, you're going to have again this lower string get into the next bead, like that, right, then you're going to have two more beads. Then with the second bead, you pull, then you pull, you pull like this, right? So after pulling, now we are going to go back this side, right? We're going to go back this side, so you can twist it around like this. So what you're going to do now, we're going to go back this side. But remember when you are beginning, you begin with this right hand side of the string, the string here. So we are going to have three beads. So three beads, you're going to put two beads into this right hand side of the string. You're going to have two beads. Then you get the third bead. It's the one you'll be tying with. Tie with the third bead. Right? Tie with the third bead. Then you pull. Then you pull like this. The third bead. 
right? So after doing that, we're going to have this string it into the next bit. String it into the next bit like this. I'm going to go into the next bit. Yeah, so here we are going to use two bit, two bits only. We're going to only have two bits. Whereby we're going to consider this upper string here. So we're going to have one bit into the upper string like this. Then you get the second bit. It's the one you'll be tying with. So you'll be tying with the second bit like this. Then you pull. Then you pull. Right? Then you pull. So continue the same process. You're going to have this lower string get into the next bit. Right? It's going to go into the next bit like this. Then you pull. Then you pull. Yeah, so after pulling, then you're going to have again two more bits. You're going to have two more bits. You're going to have two more bits. You first put one bit into the string, then you get another bit. It's the one you'll be tying with. It's the one you'll be tying with, then you pull. Right? Then you pull. So you're going to continue this same process until you reach the extreme end. You put one bit, then you tie with another bit until we reach this extreme end here we are almost reaching the extreme end yeah so what we're going to do now we're going to have two bits we're going to have two more bits yeah we first put one into this upper string here yeah continue the same process then you get another bit we're going to be tying with, with it be tying with it then you pull then you pull like this yeah, so after pulling you have reached the extreme end you have reached the extreme end so what you're going to do now you're going to have this lower string get into the next bit here then it comes upward here right so you're going to have this lower string it's going to go into the next bit like this it's going to go into the next bit like this so after getting into the next bit you pull then you get you get this same string come up upward there. You're going to come up here like this, All right? So after coming up here, then you are going to have our last bit to cover up this gap. You're going to have a a bit to cover up this gap here, All right? So then you're going to have the other side of the string to cross over this one bit. You pull, you pull like this. So after pulling, now we are going to have this lower string to get into the next bit. We're going to have it into the next bit like this. Like this, get into the next bit. Like this. So after that, now we are going to have two more bits. So we are going this side, this way. So you're going to have, you're going to be using this string here, this upper string on my right hand side to Put one bit here, then you tie, tie like that until we complete here. So you're going to have one bit into the string. After putting one bit, you get another bit that you'll be tying with. So you'll be tying with another bit. You get another bit that you'll be tying with. You pull, then you pull like this. After pulling, you get this lower string and get into the next bit like this get into the next bit get into the next bit get this last string get into the next bit yeah, so you're going to have two more bits right let's put one bit so you'll be using this same string here to put the bead and get another bit to tie with so you're going to get another bead that you're going to tie with that you're going to tie with this after tying you get this lower string get into the next bit get into this next bit like this right so when you reach this extreme end you're going to have two bits again but you're going to be using your left hand side of the string right taking you so slowly so that you can be able to understand properly so you're going to have your left hand side of the string you first put one bit in it first put one bit right then you're going to get the second bit 
you want to get a second bead, it's the one you'll be using to tie with. Then you pull. Then you pull. Right? So after pulling, you can, you can twist like this. Yeah. So now we are going back this way. We're going back to our left again. So you're going to go this way again. Yeah. So what you're going to do now, remember we're using this right hand side of, of our string. But you're going to start with three beads. Start with three beads. So you first put two beads into the string. Two beads into the string. Then you're going to tie with one bead. You're going to tie after putting two beads into the string. You're going to tie with one bead. Then you pull. Then you pull like this. Then you pull. So after pulling, you're going to have this lower string get into the next bead. Like this. Get into the next bead. Yes, then you are going to have two more beads. So you first put one bead, one bead into this upper string, this upper string here. Then you get another bead. It's the one you'll be tying with. Right? Then it across. Then you tie with it. Right? Then you tie with it like this. Then you tie with it. So you're going to get this lower string, get into the next bead. Get into the next bead. Yeah, so what you're going to do now, you're going to get two more beads. You're going to get two more beads. You first put one bead into this upper string. Then you get another bead. It's the one you'll be tying with. It's the one you'll be tying with. Like this, then you pull. Then you pull like that. And after pulling, you get this lower string, get into the next bead. Like this. Into the next bead like that right so i'm going to have two more beads i'm going to have two more beads you first put one bead into a string this upper string here then you get another bead it's the one you'll be tying with get another bead is the one you'll be tying with right you put across then you pull then you pull so here we have reached at the extreme end so what you're going to do now what you're going to do, what you can do now, you're going to have this lower string, this lower string enter into this one bead, then it comes up into this this up, this bead facing upward. So what you're going to do, that's what you're going to do. You're going to have this lower string enter into this next bead. Enter into this next bead like this. Then you pull. After putting it in, into the bead, then you this same string goes upward like this in this upper string in this upper bead here it comes upward this into this upper bead like this right yeah so other after that you're going to have one bead it's the one you're going to be trying to cover up this gap here you're going to cover, tie with one bead you're going to cover up with you're going to tie with one bead across like this then you pull and you're going to pull like this. So after pulling, then you're going to make sure this lower string, this lower string here, comes into this next bit here, like this. Yeah. So hope you if, hope you can see now the shape is coming up of the heart. Yeah. So what you're going to do now, we are going to continue the same process. Yeah. We're going to do it twice, going forth and back like that. Yeah, until we we have our preferable base. After reaching here, your string is going to end here, right? So, but remember, this side and this side have to be the same. So you have to keep going that way, filling up until you're left with such a gap. So what you're going to do now, you're going to turn around like this. So now it's time to start going upward, like right? Yeah. So what you're going to do now, you're going to have three beads. Bit, so you can either use your right hand side or your left hand side of the string so it depends on your choice so what you're going to have you're going to have two beads into the string you're going to put two beads into the string second bead right so after that then you get the third bead it's the one you're going to use to tie you're going to tie with the third bead like this and you pull you pull right 
so after putting it upward like this so you're going to have your lower string this lower string here this lower string facing downward yeah, it's going to enter into this next next bit like this it's going to enter into this next bit like this right this next bit like that so here i'm going to have two bits i'm going to have two bits so i'm going to use this upper string here I'm going to have two bits i put one bit into the string then i tie with another bit so i'm going to put one bit into the string like this then i'm going to tie with another bit i'm going to tie with another bit right so i'm going to tie with another bit i'm going to tie then i pull make sure i pull like this make sure i pull so after pulling after pulling i'm going to have this lower this lower string here this lower string enter into this next bit if you can see it's going to enter into this next bit like this right yeah after that now again you're going to have two more bits whereby you first put one bit into this this string then you get another bit the one you're going to tie with Going to tie with this other bead like this right so after tying so you're going to have this lower string again you're going to have this lower string again and change to the next bead turn it to the next bead so after entering to the next bead you're going to have two more beads so by first put one bead into this upper string then you're going to have another bead the one you'll be tying with the one you'll be tying with then you pull pull like this right so after pulling you still get, get this lower string here enter into the next bit enter into the next bit like this so after putting it into the next bit now you're going to have two more bits yeah, we have finished our our turn like this yeah so we are this extreme end so what you're going to do now you're going to continue the same process whereby we have our lower string into the next bit like this it's going to enter into the next bit like this then you pull right yeah then after that you're going to have two more beads you're going to have two more beads you have two beads this so you first put one bead into this the right hand side of the string or the upper string like that then you get the second bead it's the one you'll be tying with second bead it's the one you'll be tying with like this you cross over then you, you pull make sure you pull make sure you pull like this right make sure you pull so after pulling what you're going to do now you want to have this lower string, this lower string, and turn it to the next bead, then it comes upward like that. So it's going to come into this next bead, right? It's going to come into this next bead. After that, you make sure now this same string comes upward like this, in this upper bead here, like this. It comes up a bit here like that, right? Yeah, so after doing that, you're going to have one bead to cover up this gap here. So what you're going to have, we're going to have one bead. We're going to have one bead. So one you're going to be using to cover up this gap here in the middle. So you're going to have one bead, then we tie. And we pull. And we pull like this, right? So after pulling, what you're going to do now, we are going to continue the second phase. The process so the second line you're going to continue but remember when you're starting when you're starting remember we are using you can either use your right hand side or your left hand side of the string depending on which hand you, you feel comfortable with so what you're going to have now me i'm going to be using this right hand side so i'm going to start with three beads so either using your left or right you're going to start with three beads right so you first put two beads into the the right hand side the string put two beads so if you're using left you can use your left hand side of the string you put two beads still 
Yes, then you're going to have one bead. It's the one you're going to use to tie with, right? It's the one you're going to use to tie with. So you put across the string into the two the bead. Then you pull. Then you pull like this, right? Then you pull. So after pulling, you're going to get this lower string. This lower string into the next bead. Like this the next bit like this right to the next bit so after doing that I'm going to have two beads I'm going to have two beads so you're going to put one bead into this upper string on my right hand side then you get the second bead it's the one you'll be using to tie with the one you'll be using to tie with second bead then you pull Then you pull, right? So after pulling, continue the same process. Yes. So here we are going to the third round. Going into the third round. Yeah. So in this third round, we're going to even include some pulse for the designs. Yeah. So we're going to start. Remember when you're starting, you begin with three beads. So I'm going to start with my right hand side of the string. Yeah. If you want, you can start with your left hand side. Yeah. So you put two beads. You put two beads into the string, into your one of the strings, then you get your third bead. It's the one you'll be using to tie with. So I'll be tying with one bead like this, then you pull and I pull. And I pull like this. So and after pulling I get I get this lower string. This lower string get into the next bead. So I'm going to have this lower string get into the next bead like that. Then you pull. Right. So after pulling, so after pulling, you're going to have two beads. You're going to have two beads after pulling. So you're going to have one bead into the string, this upper string here. Right. So after that, after doing that, you're going to get the second bead. Second bead is the one you'll be tying with. It's the one you'll be tying with like this. Then you pull you pull right then you get into the next the next bit you get into the next bit like that then you're going to pull to the next bit so after that so you're going to have two more bits you're going to have two more bits whereby you first put one bit into the string then you get you're going to get the second bit it's the one you'll be using to tie with you'll be using the second bit to tie with second bit here then you tie with it then after you're going to now get this lower string get into the next bit right it's going to go into the next bit like that then you pull right so after pulling you still get two more bits two more bits right so you first put one bit into this upper string after putting one bead, you're going to get the second bead. It's the one you'll be using to tie with. Be using to tie with. Yeah, so after that, you still do the same thing. You're going to have this lower, lower string here. It's going to get into the next bead like this. Right? It's going to get into the next bead like that. So after that, now you're going to have this this one this string you put one bead there then after that you're going to have another bead it's the one you'll be tying with so you tie with the second bead right put second bead there so after that you're still going to have your lower string here enter into the next bead right into the next bead right so here you're going to have we're going to go to times then we put a pal our pal here so we're going to go to times then we put our bit pal here yeah so we're going to do it this way so you have two bits again the black bits you first put one bit here then you're going to have the second bit it's the one you'll be tying with the one you'll be tying with like this then you then you're going to pull 
you're going to pull right so after pulling you're going to have this lower string get into the next bit like that into the next bit so you're going to have two more bits right two more bits you first put one bit into this upper string then you tie with the second bit tie with the second bit right then you pull then you pull like this so after doing that you're going to have you still have this lower string get into the next bit like this right so what you're going to do now we're going to bring in our pulse pulse if you can see them yes yeah, so what you're going to do now you're going to have one pulse so when you're going to first put you're going to first put one pulse like this right then you get this th the second bit you're going to get the second block bit so, so what you're going to be tying with it's going to be tying with right so we first put our power then we tie with black right first put one power then you tie with black right like that so you're going to continue with the block beats right you're going to continue the block beats to continue the black beads so make sure our power is in the middle in the middle of the line yes yeah, so you're going to have two, two black beads you first put one then you're going to tie with another black bead you're going to tie with one black bead like that and again you continue continue Put into the next the next bit. Put into the next bit like that. So you're going to have two more bits. You're going to have two more bits. Yeah, but you first put one bit. First put one bit like that. Then you're going to have the second bit. So the second bit is the one you'll be using to tie with. Choose to tie with like that. And then after you're going to have this lower string entered to the next bit like that right so here we're going to have again two bits we're going to have two bits so you first put so here we're going to have we're going to have two bits whereby you're going to consider this upper string so you first put one bit First put one bead to the string, then you get another bead. It's the one you'll be using to tie with. You used to tie with it. And of course you tie, you pull. So after doing that, you're going to have this lower string get into the next bead. Right? The next bead. So you're going to have two more beads. Your string get into the next bit again, like that, right, like that. So after doing that, what you are going to do now, you are going to have our pal. Again, we bring our pal. Like this first, put our pal like this. Then you get the black bit. It's the one you'll be using to tie with. You use the black bit to tie with it. So you tie with the black bit. Then you pull pull properly like that so after pulling so after pulling then you get this lower string get into the next bit get into the next bit like that All right so after getting into the next bit we're going to have now the black beads so you first put one one black bead then you tie with another one so you're going to tie with another one 
try with another one. Try with another one like that. Then you get into the next the next get the string into the next bit like this. Get the string into the next bit like that. Alright. Yeah. So we're going to continue this same process whereby you're going to have our pulse. So on both corners, like even this side, we're going to have a pole in the middle. Even this side, we're going to have a pole in the middle, right? Then we form a design, right? Then after that, then we shall go to the last step. Here we've reached at the extreme end. So I hope you can see we have our pulse in the middle. Yeah, of both sides. You can see now, we have four, right? So right now we are going to the next, the last, the last step. Papa, we're going to go to the last round. Yeah, so that we finish our jewelry holder. Yeah, so what you're going to do now, remember we begin with three beads. So you can either use your right hand side or your left hand side. So this time let me decide to use my left hand side, right? I can show you that it's the same result. So I can use my left hand side, right? So we have, we first put two beads. And if you're using your right, your right hand side, you can still use two beads, right? So then you get the third bead third bead then it's the one i'm going to be using to tie with so i'm going to use the third bead to tie with it right yeah so like this so it gives you the same the same result so you pull then i'm going to have my lower string get into the next bead like this right so after that i'm going to have two beads i'm going to have two beads right first two what we first put one bead, then you get the second bead. The second bead is the one I'll, I'll be tying with. I'll be tying with the second bead, then I pull. Then I pull like this. So after pulling, I'm still going to have my lower string here. Get into the next bead. It's going to get into the next bead like this, right? So after that, now I'm going to have to add another power here but i'm going this time around i'm going to have one black bead and i'm going to have one power right so what i'm going to do now i'm going to first put one black bead into this upper string here right i first put one black bead then i'm going to get the second bead right the power which i'm going to be tying with right then i tie with it i pull i pull comes this way right so you can do the same process even this side even though you're using your your right hand side to go this side you can still use the same process right you tie with the power when you reach here where the, where the power the, another power is so you can now get to this lower string and enter into the next bead you're going to have this lower string enter into the next power the power the power bead like this right so again you're going to do the same you're going to have your black bead right you first put your black bead up then you get another power it's the one you'll be tying with right you tie with another power you tie with it right you pull right so this side it gives you so it looks like now so after tying then you get this lower string you're going to put it into the next bead to the next bead right to the next bead like that then you get two more black beads so you first you get two black beads you first put one black bead like this then you get another black bead the one you'll be tying with tie with another black bead like this right so after tying with it you get you get this four string get into the next bead it's going to get into the next bead this gets into the next bead so after that now you're going to get two black beads again you're going to have two more beads two more black beads so first put one black bead into the string and after that you get the second bead the one you're tying with you 
tell with this the black bead again, right? Like this. Then after that, you get the lower string, get into the next bead, get into the next bead like that. So what you're going to do now, you're going to have two beads by one black bead. After getting one black bead, so whenever you hear where there's a pearl, you get another pearl. It's the one you're going to be tying with. So you get the other side of the string. So you tie with the pearl, pearl bead, like this. So after tying, after tying like this, you get your lower string, get into the next bead, like this. Get into the next bead. So after getting into the next bead, get into the next bead so after getting into the next bead you're going to have a black bead and a pearl so you're going to have one black bead to the string like this then you're going to tie with a pearl right you're going to tie with a pearl you intercross the two strings you cross over then you pull then you pull right so after pulling you're going to have this lower string get into the next bead and next bead like this right so then you get two beads two black beads so you first put one one black bead then you're going to tie with the second black bead right you tie with the second black bead right like this you pull so you're going to have this lower string enter into the set the black bead right like this Right? So you're going to continue the same process over and over. Now you're going to have this lower string enter into this next bead like this. Then it comes up here, right? Yeah. So after that, you're going to have only one bead. Now you're going to tie with one bead. The one you're going to be using to tie with. So you're going to tie with it. Anyway, we pull. We try with one bead like that. So after that, we have finished our our jewelry holder, right? We finished it. Hope you can see the shape. Shape is in the form of a heart, right? So what you're going to do now, we're going to have we're going to have our strings now tied up, right? Yeah. So this is how it looks like. So it looks like, right? It's beautiful. You can see the shape. Thank you for watching this video guys where we are for making a jewelry holder or a jewelry box guys please let me know in case you don't want to know anything concerning jewelry boxes please let me know in your comments please comment so that i can get to know what you really want guys and please guys don't forget to subscribe to this youtube channel for more content guys and and in case you don't want to reach out to me you can check out on my channel is bio and check out my links instagram facebook and tiktok as Moogie Crafts guys. So till next time, ciao ciao!